it came under immense pressure for some people, I'm sure, in the States. That made him notorious. Certainly, it, ended, it meant that he paid a very high price. He ended up uh, in prison for a good period of time. That's the story, in part, that Josh is going to be telling us now, I think. Yeah, Josh? I'll, I'll touch on that. Um, I had a chance to tell, tell <laughs> okay. the story about uh, going to prison um, earlier this week. So this is going to be slightly a different story, but we'll all tie it together. So um, good afternoon. Thanks so much for, for having me here. Today I'm going to be talking about why it's important for independent journalists and student reporters to be given the same protections as their professional peers. Now, it's generally understood that reporters are not given extra rights, and they certainly don't have a pass to break the law. But journalists often have legitimate reasons to venture into areas that they otherwise wouldn't, and to talk to people engaged in suspicious activities. Earlier this week, I spoke about how I found myself ensnarled in a legal battle with the federal government over the rights of a journalist to maintain control of their unpublished material after I was subpoenaed by a federal grand jury for a video of a protest that I produced for my blog. Now, after being released from prison, I eventually found myself working for a small daily newspaper in Palo Alto. And later, I enrolled at the UC Berkeley Graduate School of Journalism, which, I should point out, actually gave me the grant to cover my airfare to get here to allow me to speak today. So thank you so much, uh, UC Berkeley School of Journalism. Now, while I was a student at Berkeley studying journalism in November of 2010, there was a proposed dramatic fee increase that sparked a series of protests, and the fee increase did go forward, a 33% increase, if I remember correctly, that led to an occupation of an academic building. Now, after learning of the students' plans to sneak into the building, I, you know, who wouldn't follow that story? I uh, followed a group of students into Wheeler Hall, which was the largest academic uh, building on campus, and I filmed them as they barricaded themselves inside and held fast onto the doors as dozens of police tried to get inside.